Hey guys, welcome back. If you guys saw my recent videos, uh, I just purchased a new um, Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL, and so it's a little bit different than my Native Slayer 12.5 Max. So I need to do some things a little bit differently. So one, I'm going to make use of my double header. I don't think I've really talked about that much, but I use it all the time. So before, I was using it to put my paddle in. So as you can see here, the paddle fits in nice and snug. See that? It's good to go. But the Old Town Sportsman comes with a, an exceptional paddle holder on the side. So it's out the way and I really don't need this. But I need something for my parking pole, my stakeout pole. And as you can see, it doesn't fit. But Yak Attack comes through again. They have actual parking pole or roto grip. And so I'm going to swap the paddle grips out with the parking pole grip. If you guys saw one of my videos where I was doing a review or how I rig my native Slayer, I use this to hold my parking pole in the back on my boondocks gear. So I took this off and I'm going to use those two to replace these two. And so there's really no videos showing you how to do that. So I just figured I'd make one for you guys. So it's real simple to do. It's going to be a little harder because I'm standing behind the camera. But all you need is a screwdriver. You're using that to pop the, uh, the cover off. You need, you need a 7 16 wrench. That's to hold the nut. And you need an Allen key, an Allen wrench, whatever one you want to call it. But you need the size four, if you can see that there, size four. And so I'm going to take this off real quick and uh, change those out and show you that um, the paddle holds really well on there. And I'm going to install this on the kayak. So once you have the seat off, you just put the um the wrench on the back and if you see inside that's where the allen key is i don't know if you can see it in there and so you just take this stick it on the inside and get to turning put that down there and that comes off so now i have the extra roto grip that's the paddle grip and as you see on the bottom that's the the sling keeper that goes over top of the paddle holder so you can interchange that as well so i'm gonna take that off make sure i have the nut there so now i have the paddle grip i have my double header and now i just have to take the screw off of this one And you can actually use the T-bolt for this. That's the one cool thing. All these are interchangeable. Now, it has this rubber sleeve. You don't have to have it because, as you can see on the other one, it's not actually there. So you don't have to have that. So I'm going to take this and keep this on this one. So I'm going to keep it with the paddle grip since I had it there. So once you open the parking pole or parking grip up there'll be a little screw on the inside that's going to go with the other one and so it should be nothing on the inside and then you want to drop your screw down in there so it'll look just like that and now that i have this on there I can just take my, like this, take my, my gear track, my double head gear track, put the screw on, get it started. And then take my Allen key, my Allen wrench.
and my 7 sixteenths put that on there now that I have it and I'm just gonna screw those on and that is it guys it is just that simple to change just keep going till it's nice and tight and there you go and then I can adjust this around Oops, sorry about that then I can adjust that around so now once I've done that I just pop my little cover back on and that's it so now you'll be able to see the difference with the parking pole how it sits in there much better see that it slides right in there and it locks just like it the parking pole did and then once I have it on the kayak I just flip this around on this side and it locks it in place so so I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll put it on the kayak I'll show you guys okay guys so now all you have to do is you just loosen this up it has a track um, on the bottom of it this track goes sideways inside the track grooves and then you have this one here so you got to make sure that that's down far enough slide it in and then once you get it in you just slide it on over where you want it tighten it down it's nice and snug and now i can just drop my parking pole in there and that's it so I can take the straps, go over the top, keeps it from falling off. And that's it, guys. That's in there. You can adjust these a little bit, but look at that. It's, I mean, it's not coming out. This fits on your track system. You can move it wherever you want. I'm gonna end up um, getting a, purchasing another Yak Attack uh, track system, but I'm gonna put it a little bit further back in the back of my kayak, but for now This is good. This is where I'm gonna have it. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, Of how to use the double head to remove the regular paddle grips and replace it with the yak attack parking pole roto grip so These are good accessories to be able to switch back and forth. So hope this video helped you guys if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments below. I'll have the description um, and where you can purchase this at yakattack.com in the description. Till next video, guys. Peace.